In this video, we're going to run through a basic configuration for a Microsoft Teams auto attendant and a couple of call queues. In our configuration, the call queues will be reachable via the Contoso auto attendant or directly via their own service number. The first step is to order the Microsoft phone system service numbers we need. Our first order will be for the auto attendant number. In our example, we're going to use a Manchester number for the Contoso help desk. As is the case for subscriber numbers, the system will initially reserve numbers and then give us 10 minutes to confirm the order. We then repeat the process, but this time we're going to request two call queue numbers. We will also use Magister numbers for these two service desks, although in reality, we could have used any regional number. After we have placed the order, we are ready to move on to the next part of the configuration. Each auto attendant and call queue in a tenant requires a resource account, which is technically defined as a disabled user object in Azure Active Directory. Resource accounts allow us to assign the service phone numbers that we have just provisioned to our auto attendants and call queues. The first thing we're going to do is to add the auto attendant resource account. One small trick I use is to make the resource account's username identifiable as either an auto attendant or call queue. We then repeat the process, but this time define the additional resource accounts as call queues. Now that we've created our resource accounts, we need to license them with three of charge phone system virtual user licenses. If you've not come across this license type before, be sure to perform a web search to find out more details. Put in simple terms, a phone system virtual user license is a free version of the phone system licensing specifically for use with resource accounts. This mechanism ultimately allows us to assign service numbers to both auto attendants and call queues. You can order these licenses via a CSP provider or add them directly from the purchase services section of the admin portal. When the order has been completed, the phone system virtual licenses will be available within the tenant. They can then be assigned to the resource accounts for our auto attendants and call queues. This then enables us to go back to the resource account page and assign our service numbers. When we assign a number, we need to select the number type. In our configuration, we are using online numbers. We then search for the service number we want to allocate. At this point, we don't have any configured auto attendants, so can't assign one. In fact, we will add the resource account to our auto attendant during its creation. We then repeat the process and assign phone numbers to our two call queues. Under the org-wide configuration settings, we can create a centralized repository of holidays that can be used in each of our organizational auto attendants. So let's create an example public holiday to use in our setup. When we add a centralized holiday, we just have to give it a name and then assign the date range. Once saved, our bank holiday is available to use in any subsequent auto attendant that we create. We are now ready to configure our two call queues. The first call queue we're going to create is Contoso Sales. After we have named it, we allocate the Contoso Sales resource account. In our call queue example, we're going to upload a pre-recorded Contoso Sales welcome message. Note that it's an MP3, and we will use the system's default music on hold. In the configuration example, we're going to assign individual agents, Adele and Christy, but we could also add groups of agents. In the video, you can see that I could easily add the sales teams group to my agent list. We then choose the call routing method, and I'm going to allow my assigned agents to opt in and out of receiving calls. I'll leave the call overflow and timeout handling at default, but do note that in the event the configured thresholds are exceeded, 
I can choose to redirect the call to an individual or another auto attendant or call queue. Let's now quickly create a support team's call queue. OK, we're now ready to build our auto attendant. As this is a demonstration, we're going to configure both dial by name and an IVR. In a lot of use cases, you might want to separate these functions. Let's start by giving our auto attendant a name. We'll call it Contoso Help Desk. We will then assign Christy as our company operator. Note that you can also configure a call queue to handle operator functions. As this is a UK deployment, we will set the time zone and language settings accordingly. We will also enable speech recognition. We are going to use text-to-speech for our greeting, but we could have uploaded an MP3 file if that was our preference. Then we configure the call routing. In our example, we're going to select Play Menu Options, which opens up the IVR functionality. We will then add some text to tell the caller how to use the IVR. Next, we assign our dial keys to let the caller select to speak to the operator or reach either the sales or support teams. Note, this is the part of the configuration we assign to our call queues. As you can see, it's really straightforward as to how we do this. After pressing the next button, we can obviously set our hours of business, which means after business hours, we can handle an inbound call differently to how we treat it during office hours. As you can see, Consoso works half days at the weekend and from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. during the week. We then set up our out of hours call routing. We add a text to speech greeting and then steer the call to the Contoso group voice mailbox, which allows the members of the group to access missed calls the next working day. We will also turn on transcription that performs speech to text translation for any received message. As mentioned previously, we can also account for holiday periods in our auto attendant. In this example, let's add the centrally configured bank holiday we previously created. We can then add a bespoke greeting and choose how to route the call. As this is a simple deployment, we will just send the calls to our Contoso group voicemail. If you're using the dial by name or dial by extension function within an auto attendant, you should think carefully about configuring an appropriate dial scope to limit access to the tenant's directory. There may be some people in the organisation you don't want to be reachable by anyone who calls into the company. The final piece of the auto attendant configuration is to assign the help desk resource account so that our dial by name, operator and IVR features are associated with a service number. After we have submitted the configuration, we're ready to test. As you can hear, when I dial the auto attendant service number, I am greeted and then given the option to route the call. In this quick example, I am going to choose to be put through to the sales team. Welcome to Contoso, the world's leading rigid company. To speak to someone in sales, please press 1 or say sales. To speak to someone in support, please press 2 or say support. If you want to speak to our operator, please press 0 or say operator. Sales. Welcome to Contoso. Sales, one of our team will be with you shortly. We have now completed our basic auto attendant and call queue phone system setup.